Hey y'all, it's Palomino and Scarlet Rebel getting ready to wash the four-wheelers after our fun weekend at Busco Beach. So we thought we'd show you the preview and some steps along the way. As many of you guys have asked, what is it that we do to keep them so shiny? This is probably the muddiest they've been in quite some time. We had some rain to wash some of it away, but they're still pretty coated. the recon also fully loaded with mud so this ought to be fun so many of you have asked uh, what products do I use or we use to uh, clean the uh, Hondas up after they are you know really dirty and everything uh, on a regular basis this is the stuff I use uh, works great for me um, and it's cheap you know you can go to Walmart and buy all this stuff uh, or anywhere auto parts stores Target um, many other places but anyway uh, what I actually use for uh, detergent to mix in the bucket I usually use a five gallon bucket like the white one over there is the turtle wax zip wax car wash and wax combination and it's concentrated and it's also eco-friendly so the runoff breaks down it's biodegradable and I mix that in the um, in the bucket with water and it doesn't take a lot but when they're real dirty like this you're naturally gonna have to use more to create more suds you know and um, you just have to determine the amount you need mixed with the water based on your own discretion. So that's what I use for the soap. You can get one gallon of this pretty cheap at Walmart. And as far as the undercarriage, tires and engine and stuff like that goes all up under the fenders and things like that, I use Simple Green, which is an all-purpose cleaner, uh, degreaser, and this stuff is non-toxic and uh, it's very uh, concentrated also uh, this bottle alone is 67.6 .6 fluid ounces and makes over five gallons of cleaner but you can get a gallon size of this too um, but anyway if you buy this one here and you don't you get the refill jug you need to either get you a, a squirt bottle like this that you pump with a trigger to mix the simple green with water or either get one of these uh, continuous uh, sprayers like this and mix the simple green with water and just shake it up good in the mixture and it doesn't take a lot of this to make a good concentrated cleaner to get it to loosen all this dirt and mud out from under uh, your fenders and off your engine wheels tires uh, any anything like that uh, that you need to loosen it up off of these type brushes right here are what I use on the tires only you see their curvature shape are perfect for contouring the sidewall of the tire and scrubbing all that mud and debris off of there and uh, get them good and clean. Uh, one of these scouring bug and tar sponges like this is good for getting on uh, mud and stuff that's kind of etched on the surfaces. And this sponge right here has got microfiber on each side is another good type of sponge to use. And then of course the all-natural sponge uh, is, is good as well for um, more of your uh, delicate finishes, you know, such as the top surface of the plastic and all. So that's the stuff I use. And like for these wheels right here, because they have spokes, a sponge this size works best for getting in between these spokes here and getting them good and clean. So anyway, that's the uh, stuff I use. And naturally... A garden hose with a good nozzle that can create some uh, pressure on the end is another thing uh, that's important. And the very first thing I do is actually uh, rinse them off good and get as much of this off as I can before I actually start soaping them up. So um, now that you know what uh, products we use, uh, let's go on and get started on 
uh, getting these babies cleaned up. Come out of out of the sk the skid plates and a arm guards already. Had to pick some of it out by hand. It's wedged down in there. It's all, clay. all of it, North Carolina clay. <laughs> Here's what's behind the side panels and under the seat. The next Little thing bit. we'll do is take and uh, spray this off. They want to move it back. Use light pressure up under the seat with these electronic and air boxes in. You want to force water in anywhere it doesn't need to be. Come to the other side and repeat the same process. Once you do that, and the engine you can take it. You know, keep your simple green container and spray the engine down. The box area, battery area. Let this soak for a little while. Thing. You also want to make sure the engine is getting cool before you start spraying water or cleaner on it so it doesn't crack the engine block. It's best. Get up around the cylinder head, fuel pump, things like that. Like so you want to let this stuff soak for a few minutes and do its job. While you go on and do other things. Taking simple green and spraying on the wheels and tires and using the additional soap mixture that you had on the from washing the body of the four wheeler. You take your tire brush and go over the sidewall of the tire, clean them up real good.
here. Take the hose. Rip the clay. Just doing a final rinsing on them. They're starting to look a lot like the ones that we ride all the time. A lot of hard work goes into keeping them shiny, but it's well worth it. We had many people ask us this past weekend, are those brand new? And you guys know they are not. <laughs> Nice and clean and shiny. Ready to go another guide. We'll see you guys next time.